Good evening. It's Monday, June 1st, 2020. I'm Joe, the pastor at First Presbyterian Church in downtown Smithfield here in Johnson County in eastern North Carolina. I welcome you as we gather this evening to share words of hope and assurance and affirmation. Tonight, I want to share a passage with you that is just a selection of a larger passage I've uh, preached upon many times. It's Ecclesiastes 3. Uh, verses 1 through 4, and this is from the Old Testament. For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today is observed as a day of national mourning and lament, this June 1st, 2020. We have been invited by civic leaders, by religious leaders, um, but regardless of who called for it, it is a moment we all can share. This morning I woke up to a post by a church member who, reflecting on the events of the past week, said, this is not the world I want my grandchildren to grow up in. That embodies the prayer of lament, so familiar in the Bible. This National Day of Mourning and Lament has been called for because we mark a grim milestone. 100,000 people in the space of 12 weeks have lost their lives to the coronavirus and COVID-19, something new and unfamiliar that has posed a threat to all of our society, not just the illness itself, but those who have lost their jobs, their homes, um, who are finding themselves short. There's fear and anxiety. There has been um, unrest between blacks and other races in the past week where we're really having to come to terms with ourselves. We grieve in so many ways all that we feel that we have lost, all the progress we have made. Now, this perhaps is seasonal and just momentary. I do believe and trust a better day will come for us all if we can pay attention to the choices we are making now, reflect upon the mistakes we have made in the past. Now, perhaps if we were to choose one image of 2020, I wonder what that might be. Maybe some cartoon caricature of the virus COVID-19 uh, maybe something unpredictable, amusing, like bats. Um, who knows? But I choose an image today on this National Day of Mourning and Lamentation, um, a picture entitled Age of Innocence. It's an image I shared earlier in the week. This photo was taken in April of 2019, just a little over a year ago. Marco Mancinelli was taking photographs at the inner city school of uh, Detroit Montessori, and he had been taking hundreds of photos and he had just not gotten a good picture. And this moment was captured, this little girl, tired at the end of the day, just laying her head over in the lap of her neighbor, a little boy who nonchalantly put his arm around her shoulder to embrace her and comfort her. In these days, we look to each other for that kind of compassion, that kind of understanding. We are tired, we are weary, and we're looking to one another, hoping, and this is in a day and time where we're not even allowed to get near or touch each other, but there has to be that day that is coming to us. This is my vision of what may come from 2020. It's a prayer for the future because I lament, I grieve, I mourn well, all that we feel that we have lost in this time. So this evening, as I hold the image up, I want to share um, a prayer I have written with you, a lamentation, a uh, mourning, an offering of grief, and I invite you to share it with me as we come to God and we pray also for our hopes for the future. And hopefully I can get this image right for you. Oh God, today I grieve for the past. 
I grieve for lessons we have not learned, for the stories our ancestors buried and did not tell us. I grieve for the soul-troubling truths we see revealed when we find the strength and courage to look at our own reflection in the eyes of our neighbors. Today, I grieve for the present, for more than 100,000 dead in the span of three months in our nation. I grieve for many more who are sick, homeless, who have lost their jobs. I grieve for hurting people, for those who are isolated. My heart wails a lament for my neighbor who fears what the new day may hold because of the tone and shade of their skin or the uniform they may put on to protect and to serve. And for us who have failed to do what you, O Lord, have required of us, to do justice, to love kindness, and to walk humbly before you, I grieve. And I grieve for the future for children of this generation who have been robbed of their innocence and the peace of childhood, who have been robbed of a sense of safety and well-being, a community of visible love and trust that seems lost. I grieve for a world that was made to be very good by you, for us all to enjoy. Lord, forgive. Lord, heal. Lord, resurrect. Breathe into your creation a new life and show us your children the way home where we may be received into the loving embrace of your arms of grace and mercy. Amen. May the love and light of God surround us all and cover us this night. And the peace of God be with us all, now and forever. Amen. Good night.